question. What do you think about uh, the yesterday show? Yesterday show, I thought it was um, very energetic. Um, I thought the playing was, was, was quite good and entertaining. Is what there's a band do, we entertain people and, and when we play live. And very hot. I almost died from the heat. I came up with the last song, just fully, fully on. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm wearing too much fucking leather. Why do we wear leather and makeup? Why can't we go on fucking shorts and a t shirt? Please! It's like, nah. But it's very hot. I think it's the hottest show we've done at all. And the public was good. The public was very good, yeah. Very good. It was, yeah, definitely. Very, very cool. Very loud as well. It's what you want. You want a loud crowd to cheer and just chant and everything. This is before the encore was loud, it's like everyone with the feet like this, <laughs> trying to imitate Adrian's double bass drum, it's fucking cool, man. Second question, for what reason do you choose Paris for the The crowd, I think, and we've got two nights here. Paris has always been good good for crowds, the fans are just loud, mm -hmm. energetic, and really, really get into it. And it's a bit different because I think Cradle's always recorded DVDs and live shows in England, so it kind of makes a bit of a change to record it somewhere else. I know that probably some English fans are going to go, oh, why didn't I record the DVD in England? But it's, it's a bit of a change, more than anything else. It just made, made sense. Yeah, it's good. Well, you, you like it, yeah, oh, yeah. definitely. What will the content? Oh, it'll, be, it'll be the live show. Um, us doing really, really stupid things, blowing things up, drinking disgusting things. The usual, just like the last DVD where you just oh, look yeah. at the girl like, Oh my god, I can't believe he just did that. Oh my god, he's so drunk. All that kind of stuff. All kind of stuff. So it's like, and then other bits of footage we've got lying around. Possibly some some videos that haven't been released on DVD before. Like I know that um, a couple of the videos of, of the um, Sony album have only been released in the US, plus the live video that um, Paul put together for Promise of Fever. So they might appear on there. I'm not quite sure how it works for licensing of Sony, but maybe. So try and put as much on the DVD as possible to make it good value for money. So the fans feel like when they've bought it, they're not getting ripped off, that they've got their money's worth and they're like, it's a really cool package and there's lots of stuff on there that I can watch again and again and again. So they don't feel like they're wasting their money. Subtitles? Yes. Probably. It's a DVD, so probably have subtitles, but <laughs> I don't think most of the stuff that we say will make much sense when you translate it, but it's more visual stuff, just doing really, really stupid stuff, but I can't see why there shouldn't be any subtitles. Okay. It'd probably be a good idea. Good. Unless you overdub it, like all, like all <laughs> the French films, and then can all have different voices and say totally different things. <laughs> and then have like the words following, like, that'd be really cool actually, I watched that more. Okay. Uh, the track list will be uh, the same uh, as uh, yesterday. Yes, this, that's the track list. We um, changed it from the last DVD because we thought awesome. on the last DVD, if we played the same songs again, it would be kind of, you know, it's a bit weak really. So we, we just completely changed that, threw in some new songs. So it's basically another, another reason to have it rather than just to complete your collection. So I can see some songs which haven't been played live that much before, like 13 Autumns. I don't think it's been played live for years, if, if ever. And then some stuff from the new album. And, uh, can you say in French some words for the website? I have absolutely no idea how to speak French at all. <laughs> Into the camera. If you say what I say in French first, you can all laugh about it. I don't speak French. Uh, no, no, no. Not a single word. I'm really, really sorry. Can you open it up, please? Uh, I'm here. In a second, I'll just go open the door. I'll be back. Think of something for me to say and I'll no say. No problem. Uh, you can say... You could say... Uh, J'aime beaucoup la France. J'aime beaucoup la France? Beaucoup. What? J'aime... J'aime... Beaucoup. Beaucoup? La France. J'aime beaucoup la France. Craig will feel fucking metal, man, and stay metal. Well, good. <laughs> Excellent. Good, thanks. All good. Can you? Uh, yeah, yeah. Have you got